Today's lesson, Using Multiplication Facts to Find Division Facts, is Lesson 9 in Topic 1 of Grade 4 in Vision. The guiding question for this lesson is, how do the multiplication facts help you learn the division facts? There is no new vocabulary for this lesson, so let's get started with the problem-based interactive learning. Please complete this problem in box two of your homework sheet independently now. You may pause the video. Let's begin. I'm going to start by reading the problem. Carly reads a book with 32 chapters. She has eight days to read it. She wants to read the same number of chapters each day. How would you solve this problem? Well, I'm going to begin by underlining the key information that I need in this problem. So I know it's important to know how many chapters, the total number, which is 32. And I'm also going to underline eight days because that's the number of days that she needs to split the 32 chapters over. So I also like to use a strategy of drawing a picture. So I'm going to make a column with my counters. And this represents one chapter. And if I read, or I'm sorry, Carly reads one chapter for each day, then that would be eight chapters. So one chapter a day is not enough. So let's see, this is one day, two days, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to lay down another column of counters. If Carly reads two chapters a day, so this would be day one, and she reads two, this column is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 total chapters is not the whole 32 chapters, so she couldn't just read two a day. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down another column of counters. So if Carly reads 32 chapters, I'm sorry, three chapters a night, one, two, three, she would get, if this is eight, and then this, another eight is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, she still has not read the total 32 chapters. So three chapters a night is not enough. So I'm going to try a fourth chapter for each night. So if this is 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. And that's all of the chapters in the book. So she will need to read four, one, two, three, four on the first day, four on the second day, four on the third day, four on the fourth day, and so on for each night over eight nights to read all 32 chapters. So she is dividing 32 divided by 8. It means that she is reading 4 chapters an 8. Now 32 is the dividend. Sorry about that. And 8 is the number that is doing the dividing. So that is the divisor. And 4 is the quotient. And that is the answer to the division problem, the number of chapters Carly will have to read each night. Now I can write this number sentence using a division frame. The dividend goes inside. So 32 divided by 8 equals 4. Now, what is the related multiplication fact that would help me find the answer to this problem? Well, I drew a picture and I wrote out a number sentence, but if I knew the multiplication fact, I could have figured this out very quickly. The multiplication fact would be 4 times 8 equals 32 or 8 times 4 equals 32 and that would go along with the fact family 
of 4, 8, and 32. Because I see up here there's a 32 and an 8. And if I know that all I'm missing is the 4, I could have gotten this answer very quickly. Let's try another. Use a grid to outline rows and columns to find 18 divided by 9. Write the related multiplication and division facts. So I'm going to choose to just number first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Because I'm dividing by 9. So I'm going to have 9 rows. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So if I shade across here and all the way across the top, I will end up with 18 total. Okay. So, the sentence that represents this problem for multiplication would be nine rows and two columns. So that would be nine times two equals 18. The other related sentence would be two times nine equals 18. And we already have the related division sentence, which is 18 divided by 9 equals 2 because we have our two columns up here at the top. Or you could write 18 divided by 2 equals 9. So if you know 2 times 9 equals 18, then you could figure out the answer that goes here without drawing an array or a grid or counting. These are the related facts for the fact family of 2, 9, and 18. So I see I have a 9 and an 18, and so I would just need a 2. And that's how multiplication facts help you to know your division. So let's go ahead and look at guided practice. Use multiplication facts to help you divide. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to write the multiplication sentence below. So 9 times a number equals 27. What number times 9 equals 27? 9 times 3. So if you know 9 times 3, or 3 times 9, then you know that 27 divided by 9 equals 3. Let's look at number 2. 40 divided by 5 equals. So let's go ahead and find the related multiplication fact. A number times 5 equals 40. So what number times 5 equals 40? And we should be able to get this answer by counting by fives, knowing our multiples of 5. And the answer is 8, because 8 times 5 equals 40. Or 5 times 8 equals 40. So if you know these multiplication facts, you would know that the answer is 8. So let's go ahead and, and let's move through number 3 and 4. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. And the related facts are 6 times 4 equals 24, or 4 times 6 equals 24. And let's go ahead and do number 4. 66 divided by 6 equals 11, and the related multiplication facts are 11 times 6 equals 66, and 6 times 11 equals 66. All right, let's finish up with 5 and 6. Don't forget the inside of the frame is the dividend. So 63 divided by 9 equals 7, and it goes over the ones place if it's a one-digit uh, quotient. Okay, and the related fact is 
7 times 9 equals 63, or 9 times 7 equals 63. Okay, let's go ahead and do number 6. 81 divided by 9 is 9, right over the ones place. Okay, let's go ahead and find the related fact. 9 times 9 equals 81. And there is no other related fact because it's the same thing if you switch those two digits. So it's only that one set. Now you will have your turn. Please complete the independent practice in box three of your homework sheet. And to connect to the concept, draw a model that shows all the possible ways to arrange 12 counters. Then write the related multiplication and division facts. If you have any questions or comments, please bring them to class tomorrow and I look forward to working with you. Good night.